Hey everyone, this is Jeannie, one of our sand cats. She likes to hide in this pot. And although she looked very tiny, she's actually a wild species of cat, and they're known as sand cats. We got to do something very cool for our sand cats recently, and we had a donor, and we want to say thanks to this donor. Her name is Lindsay McCann, and what she did, it was her birthday, and instead of getting presents, she asked everyone to give some money to help the cats at Big Cat Rescue. What she wanted us to do was get something cool for the sand cats, and what's cooler for a sand cat than sand? So we were able to actually get three dump trailer loads of sand, which, believe me, is a lot of sand. And thanks to the hard work of our volunteers, because believe it or not, sand is really heavy. Especially the sand we had, which was a little bit damp, so that made it even heavier. So thanks to the help of all the volunteers that come out to the sanctuary, we were able to get all of this sand off the trailer and into the cages. And three loads is a lot of heavy sand, but it was well worth it. And we have a male named Canyon, and we have a female named Jeannie. And they are brother and sister, and as, as with most cats, they don't get along, so they don't live together. So they live in two separate parts of the sanctuary. And if you've ever seen a sand cat in captivity, which there aren't very many, they're usually in a smaller, usually a nocturnal mammal house, or in a small area where they're really just in a, in a glass enclosure. And I think a lot of people think because they are so small that they don't need a lot of room. But you know what? Our sand cats really use their entire enclosure, and we give them lots of ground space, lots of places to hide, and even lots of trees to climb. And I think most people wouldn't imagine that an animal that lives in the desert would like to climb trees, but the sand cats sure do. They're, they're, they enjoy very much going to the top of the trees and hanging out, so we give them lots of stuff. Sand cats are very shy, so when we put in the sand the first time, we weren't sure how much they were going to use it. But the very cool thing is, the next morning, because again, sand cats are very active at night, so the next morning, we saw little sand cat footprints covering all the sand in their enclosure, and they had actually explored every nook and cranny. And because we put this sand in there, it almost was like getting a new habitat for the sand cats. They are so much into enrichment and new smells, new, new sensations, that it was very cool to be able to give that to this animal. Now they have a few inches of sand in there, they can dig, they can run around in it, and it's really making their lives better. And although we all wish they could be out in the wild, for the cats that are here right now, we have to give them the best life we can in captivity. And that's what we're trying to do.